Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to Small Talk Gamers. Today we're on GTA 5 and we're doing an FPS test of the Alienware Steam Machine i7 model. Um, I've done a couple of these before. We did Battlefront and we did Battlefield. But this is like a completely different sort of game and this is as graphically demanding as them games. So yeah, I do these. The, I do these FPS tests for people who are thinking about buying this machine and they're not sure. You know, they want an experience, they want to see what it's like running these high performance games and it comparing against the PlayStation 4. And in my opinion, it outperforms current gen consoles 100%. It outperforms them. And as you can see now, we're on GTA 5, we're at a standstill and we're at a solid 60 FPS, as you can see in the top left. And what I'll do is, I'll just burn round on my motorcycle and see what happens to the FPS. I, I've been playing this game for a couple of days and I've been having solid 60 FPS for the whole time I've been playing on it. A couple of drops when I've been like absolutely annihilating loads of cars with like an RPG or something. But that's, that's understandable for what the FPS should be. So yeah, I'm just going to burn round and see what happens. These, this is on, oh shit, I'm shit driving. This is on high settings. This is like, this is basically what PlayStation 4 runs at, but the PlayStation 4 runs GTA at 30 FPS, and this is 60 FPS. The, this video will not, I can't, I won't be rendering this video in 60 FPS, but because um, my recorder won't record at 60 FPS, and that'll probably affect the overall FPS anyway. And you got, yeah, exactly, you got to bear in mind that I am running my recording software in the background as well as this game. Like, normally, you would not have that in the background. But as you can see, this is performing really, it really, like, surprised me how good it runs this game. I'd say this was quite, this is one of the highest, like, demanding games out there at the minute. Like for all, all the stuff that's around and whatever. So yeah, as you can see here, we have a few cars. So what we'll do is, we'll get a Granado and we will grenade them. And then we'll look at the FPS in the top right, see if that drops. Oh, we had a little drop. It's gone up a little bit then. <laughs> we went down to like 58. <laughs> that's not, you're not even going to notice that. It's that. It's that little, you're not even going to notice it. So we now we got a two-star police chase. <laughs> so yeah. That's basically been it. Oh. That's basically been it. I just wanted to show people what this thing can run at and what this thing is capable of. Because people don't... They don't know. Like, when I was going to buy... When I was about to buy one, I didn't... I didn't know that... I didn't know what it was going to be like. I thought it could run games, and it, the games I wanted to play, like Rust and Ark, it would it'd run them okay, but I thought that GTA would just be a bit too much for it. But this is this is better than console, and it's making me think, why, why would you buy a PlayStation 4 over this? Like, other than the price, I think it's a bit... I paid 450 for my... Alienware Steam Machine, but that was a great deal, like, we were really lucky to get it that cheap. And you can get a PlayStation 4 now for, like, less than £300. So, yeah, if you're thinking about getting one and you want PC gaming, I would really recommend it, like, if you can get it if you can get it at the right price, and you can get the i, this is, remember, this is the i7 model, the most, this is the highest model you can buy. And it can run, look, this game runs so smooth, like, I, w I don't think I'll even go back to uh, PlayStation 4 now, after playing on this. Like, maybe just for, like, certain games, exclusives and that, but this is awesome. I prob I'm going to be considering buying games for this now all the time because of how good this is running. And it was the same with Battle Battlefront and Battlefield. So yeah, that has been my FPS test, and as you can see, it's... It's just solid, locked, 60 FPS. This has been GTA 5, I've been Dan, and remember to stay tuned for more FPS tests, and I'm going to be doing a review of this Steam Machine, because it's really, 
it's really really impressed me and there's not many things that have impressed me lately and this really has and if it's impressed me I will do a review on it and it'll give you guys more of an example of why you should buy it and more of a reason why you should buy it and I think you should I highly recommend it so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and if you have leave a like below it shows great support to me and my channel and yeah I will see you in the next video goodbye guys goodbye